A warm greeting. Today is Monday, September 23, 2024. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. At the time of recording this video, it's 7 a.m. in Cuba and Florida, where we are closely monitoring the development of Invest 97, which now has a high probability of becoming Tropical Storm Helene within the next 48 hours. This video is of particular interest to western Cuba, northeastern Yucatan Peninsula, Georgia, and Alabama, as this future cyclone poses a threat to all these areas. Last night, we observed that Invest 97 continues to generate disorganized thunderstorms. However, it is showing signs of organization, and we should soon see Tropical Depression number 8 of the season. It is expected to pass very close to the Yucatan Peninsula and western Cuba. During the night, it also brought heavy downpours to Jamaica, and this area of bad weather with intense rains and gusty winds will begin to affect western Cuba starting Tuesday night. In the latest 2 a.m. tropical outlook, the National Hurricane Center increased the chances of cyclonic development to 90%, either in the Western Caribbean Sea or the Gulf of Mexico, as this low-pressure system moves northward, eventually reaching the southeastern United States. Trajectory models continue to project an initial northwest movement over the next 48 hours, followed by a turn to the north. In fact, there is a strong consensus that it will pass between the Yucatan Peninsula and Pinar del Rio in Cuba on Wednesday afternoon. By Thursday or Friday, it should reach Florida's panhandle. However, we are also keeping a close eye on the Florida Peninsula, as some models suggest it may approach a little closer to the Big Bend of Florida. Another important change we saw last night is that intensity models are becoming more aggressive. There is now a solid consensus that it could arrive as a Category 3 hurricane in the southeastern United States, with some models even showing the possibility of strengthening into a Category 4 hurricane. This is why it's crucial that residents of the southeastern U.S. stay alert to the future development of Tropical Storm or Hurricane Helene over the next 72 hours. As it approaches western Cuba, it is expected to bring significant rainfall to the Cayman Islands and Pinar del Rio in Cuba, with rainfall estimates ranging from 200 to 300 millimeters over the next 48 hours. This could cause some flooding in western Cuba. For now, it appears the heaviest rain will remain to the northeast of the Yucatan Peninsula. In addition to the rain, tropical storm conditions are expected to affect areas from northern Yucatan Peninsula to western Cuba, with wind gusts of 100 to 115 km per hour possible on Wednesday and early Thursday. This means that tropical storm watches are likely to be issued for western Cuba and parts of northern Yucatan Peninsula in the next 24 hours. Now, let's take a look at the updated model projections. Here we have the American model. This model is quite aggressive in predicting the strengthening of future tropical storm Helene. In this morning's run, it shows a Category 1 or 2 hurricane, passing between the Yucatan Peninsula and Cuba on Wednesday morning, and then strengthening as it moves north-northeast towards northern Florida as a Category 3 hurricane. Remember that it is also projected to move over parts of Georgia, South Carolina, and even North Carolina, so the entire southeastern U.S. should continue to monitor its progress. What's interesting are the trends in the GFS model. Here we see an animation of the Thursday afternoon projection, where each run has shown this system moving farther east, and it now poses a threat to western Florida Peninsula. Essentially, from Tampa, Big Bend, and Florida's Panhandle, everyone should remain vigilant for changes in the forecasts. If the American model's latest projection holds, tropical storm force winds could affect the entire Florida Peninsula, and hurricane force winds could impact areas between Tampa and Florida's Big Bend, with gusts over 125 miles per hour. Additionally, heavy rain is expected, especially in northern Florida and southeastern Georgia, with rainfall totals ranging from 5 to 10 inches. As it moves north, rain could also affect areas of Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, and eastern Tennessee, with accumulations of 4 to 7 inches, which may cause flooding in these states. Although the American model tends to bring the system closer to Florida Peninsula, other models continue to project the center of circulation entering Florida's panhandle, as shown by the latest run of the European model. This model shows a Category 1 or 2 hurricane making landfall in Florida's panhandle on Thursday night, with the strongest winds remaining over northern Florida and staying slightly west of Tampa and Cape Coral. The German model also projects a Category 2 or 3 hurricane hitting Florida's Big Bend on Thursday afternoon. Overall, the ensemble members of the GFS model largely agree that the greatest risk is between Florida's Big Bend and Florida's Panhandle. At the moment, this is the highest risk area. However, indirect effects are expected to affect the rest of the state of Florida with heavy rains, tropical storm force gusts, and storm surges along Florida's west coast. The ensemble members of the European model also generally agree with these projections, showing movement over Florida's Panhandle. That's all for this forecast update. Stay tuned to Invest 97, which should strengthen into a tropical storm within the next 48 hours. To ensure you don't miss any of the videos I'll be recording, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to receive notifications when I post new videos. With that, I'll say goodbye. The next video will cover the newly formed tropical storm John, 
which is heading towards the state of Oaxaca. See you later.